Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Angela and I blog at the website arrowhillcottage.com. My husband and I have five children and we're just at the very beginning stages of our journey towards minimalism and a more simple lifestyle as we prepare to build and then move into our forever house. 2019 is going to be a pretty special and exciting time for my family. We have been planning and dreaming about this house, Arrow Hill Cottage, for many years. And this is the year it's finally going to become a reality. And so in 2019, we really need to focus in and get ready to make this move. And so to keep myself on task, I've come up with five minimalist New Year's resolutions that I am going to be working on in 2019. My first resolution is going to be to look for inspiration. And of course, when you're starting out on a journey and you're not sure how it's going to go, it can sometimes be hard to keep motivated. And so I'm going to be looking at others who have gone before us in this minimalism journey that have been successful. One of the books that I'm really looking forward to reading is one that's been pretty popular. It's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. And Marie developed the KonMari method of decluttering, which is one of the methods that I used in my December declutter challenges. And I really liked her perspective on things and how she talks about finding items that bring you joy if, and deciding what you really want to keep. One of the blogs that I like to read right now is called Minimal Mon, and the writer and owner of that blog is Dawn, who is a fellow Minnesotan and she has four young kids, so I feel like we kind of relate on that level. And I love that she and her husband are on the same page, not only about keeping things clutter free, but having a more simple and intentional life with their family. And so I would recommend if you are thinking about this journey as well to um, read her blog. So I will have that linked below in the description box as well. And then of course there are YouTube channels. YouTube is just a wealth of information of course and there are tons of channels that talk about minimalism. And one of them that I have started to follow recently is called Break the Twitch. And the guy that runs it doesn't talk just about minimalism, but he also talks about just being intentional and understanding why you do the things that you do. And so it's sort of a mind shift that needs to happen more than just decluttering. There's a lot more to minimalism and living a simple lifestyle. And so I've been enjoying following his journey and listening to his tips. My second resolution is actually in collaboration with another fellow YouTuber named Shannon Torrens. And she and her family have been on this journey for about a year, a year and a half, and they have just been so amazing at what they've been able to accomplish. And so I love being able to watch her channel and see all of her tips and see all of the things that she's been able to accomplish in such a short time and know that if I keep up with what I'm doing, we will get there as well. So Shannon and I came up with the idea to make the month of January a no spend month. And I'm personally calling it the happy no new year. And so for the month of January, we are going to work on not bringing anything new into our homes and try to keep each other accountable. Of course, there are going to be things we're going to have to purchase such as groceries and toiletries, basic things like that, but any extravagant um, expense or any like clothing items, no shopping for that. So it's going to be a no spend month and she's my can accountability partner. She also has a video about her resolutions that you may want to check out. I have that linked below as well and I would definitely recommend that you would check that out. The third resolution is to continue and also finish decluttering the rental house. We moved into this house about four years ago and because we were renting there were things that we really didn't need or weren't useful to us here and so they've been sitting in boxes for a while. I need to think about if those things are going to make the move to the new house or if we could sell or donate them um, to somebody else that would be, it would be more useful to them. And I've already started the decluttering as I mentioned earlier with the December challenges 
which has given me a jump start and everything, but really I would like to have this goal complete by the time we break ground on the new house, which will happen possibly April or May of 2019. That doesn't give me a lot of time, and so this New Year's resolution is going to have to be started right away. Next for my fourth resolution is that I would like to have one big garage sale. Now, my husband is not a fan of garage sales at all. He says they're not worth the time or the energy. However, with all of these things that we are going to be decluttering, there is value tied up in everything. And so I would like to try to sell some of the things that, you know, maybe we'll make a few bucks here, a few bucks there, and it all adds up. In the end, after the garage sale, which I think will probably happen sometime this summer, in the end, I want to take the funds that we earn from the sale and use that towards um, pieces that could be used in the new house. So we're going to need bedding and curtains and rugs and possibly some new furniture for the new house. And so really, I see it as motivation to get that extra money out of the items that we aren't using so that we can put them into items that we will use. And my fifth and final minimalism goal for 2019 is to practice the one in, one out method. Now, this is going to happen somewhat while we're at the rental, but for sure I want it to be in place by the time that we move into Arrowhead Cottage. With all the decluttering that's happening here, I don't want us to start over in the new house and start building it back up again. I really want to think more critically about each and every item that enters our house. And a good way to do that is by using the one in, one out principle. And basically all it means is that if you are buying something at the store and you bring it back to your house, you find something probably of similar style value, like if it's a piece of clothing, you would take a piece of clothing out of your closet and donate it or sell it so that there's no accumulation of items happening. And I really feel like that is going to set us up for great success at our new house and help us to keep things simple and clutter free from the get go. So there you have the five minimalism New Year's resolutions that I'm going to be putting into place to keep myself motivated. I'm specifically really looking forward to January and the no spend month with Shannon and I'm glad that she's my accountability partner because she's real good at this minimalism thing and I could probably use a little extra help. So she's going to be holding my hand through the whole thing. I recommend that you check back in at the end of January to see how we did with that challenge and follow along on this journey throughout 2019 as we build our house and move in. It's really gonna be an exciting year and I'm glad to have you along for the journey. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to this channel or visiting my website, arrowhillcottage.com for more tips on creating a simple home and living an intentionally simple life.